Coming up, we, we, <laughs> we have an outstanding show. First, we're going to talk with a saleswoman who stared adversity in the eye, risked everything, and made it in the toughest city in the world, uh, Gloucester, New Jersey. Oh, wait. <laughs> New York City, New York, and we're going to find out how and why. And our second guest has a new book coming out, and it's all about how to get in front of your customers and stay on top of your competition. David Averin later in the show. And don't forget, you can call us with your questions. You can call us right this very minute with your questions, 646-668-8876. I'm going to give it to you again, 646 668 8876. Okay, let's get to it. Sell or die. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jeffrey. What season is it? All right, it's it's uh, summer almost. June's here. Wow. Summer's ramping up. Where the hell did May go? That's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, May is long gone. So... Wedding season is in full swing. Seriously? I didn't notice. That's what happens now. I just got back from one. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. It's like all over my Facebook page. Every oh, bride it? on the planet. Yeah, got an it. engagement. Anyway, in honor of that, we're Did talking I about... I hadn't noticed? <laughs> yeah, really? Are you sure? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Maybe it's not here for you. Yeah, it could be. So in honor of wedding season, we're talking about making the leap. Not the leap oh. into matrimony, but the many leaps we take as salespeople, sales managers, entrepreneurs... The risks of taking on a new client, cold calling, that's a risk, scary, mm -hmm. starting a new business. Mm -hmm. Salespeople deal with them every day. Jeffrey, what are the most difficult risks you see salespeople struggling with today? Taking a chance to get to the decision maker, taking a chance to not even go to the person that doesn't decide first and going right to the decision maker. Yeah. I think the biggest <laughs> risk that they take is asking for the sale. I think they're scared to death to ask for the sale because they're they don't want to hear no. I agree with that. Yeah. I, I think also, just getting into sales is a risk. Yeah, but you kind of. First of all, they want the money. They, there's a lure that salespeople make a lot of money, so they think, oh boy, it's it's glittery. It uh, the light bulb is bright. Let me run to the light bulb. Yeah, but. You only make a lot of money if you work your ass off. Yeah, but let me tell you something. You may not risk being a salesperson, but you go through the training, and now it's all of a sudden that you have to go out and make a sale. That's a way bigger risk mm -hmm. hitting mm -hmm. the street. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. I, you know, Fear of your manager telling you have to make 100 cold calls a day, <laughs> right? That is scary. Exactly. Who wants to cold call? Where, and so the, the question is, where did these fears come from? And the question is uh, not where do they come from, but where did they grow up? Because the fears may be manifest for the fact that their mom and dad had safe jobs mm -hmm. and sales is a risk. You know, you, mm -hmm. you're going to – you pretty much eat what you kill. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a whole risk factor involved in it. That's why good salespeople make good money and great salespeople make great money. And shit salespeople make, make shit, shit money. money. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty true. Yeah. And so, okay, so – if you're a salesperson and you're and you're feeling a little risky or feeling a little at risk, what do you think you can do to overcome the risk, Jen? I would take training and personal development to to learn how to be the best salesperson on the planet mm -hmm. and develop maybe a little self confidence. Of course, mm -hmm. of course, I would go out there and talk to some of my top clients to mm -hmm. figure out why mm -hmm. they're working with me. Mm -hmm what they like about it. That mm -hmm. would instill confidence in me well, hearing it from the client. If they're a new sales guy, they can still go out and talk to existing customers. Exactly. Right. Exactly. There's a few more risks we should talk about because they may relate to them. The risk of marriage? And, well, that's <laughs> that's your fear. I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure some of them are fearful of that, I'm too. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> but Signify by honking your horn. <laughs> Okay, but a lot of entrepreneurs are listening to us, and before they started their own business, they were – a lot of people had fear to abandon their cushy job or their safe job and take that leap to start your own business. I would say that that's partially correct. Okay. Uh, because if your dad has his own business or your mom has her own business, you've really kind of grown up with it. I always knew I was going to be in business for myself. I I, uh, I had a, a 
uh, job working with my father. I went to a rock concert one night, and I go, I can do this. All these people, they bought an act, they rented a hall, and they put the show on. Yeah. And I did. Cool. So I did a couple of them, and I found out, that unfortunately, everyone's a drug addict and a liar, but that's a whole other issue. <laughs> but in the meantime, I put on two rock concerts. Just wow. from balls, because I knew I could yeah, do it. Yeah, but you have balls. You have sales balls. I have sales balls, but my dad was... Denied. We sell those, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> they come in pairs. <laughs> um, they, my, my mother and father were both business people, and I, just, I knew that I could just do like them. I was as smart as they were. Jeffrey, not everyone has your balls. Not yet, <laughs> not, not yet, anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not yet. I'm the only. Wait, so wait, hold on. Some, you're, you're telling me, Jeffrey, you've never, you didn't have any fears related to sales, even in the earliest wee babe right. years of your. Sales That's correct. Okay. Never had a fear. Well, we had a bunch of advisors come to to who quit their jobs. Yep. And they. Yeah, they risked it. They spent a weekend studying from you, learning from you, learning how to deliver your content. Mm -hmm. And they were all, a bunch of them were in the same place starting a new business. And they were scared. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's definitely an anxiety. I don't know whether I would call it scared. It's I would a say risk. They were excited about they it were, as No, well. they were totally excited. They were <laughs> eager. They were ready. And they're great people. Okay, so let's talk about you, the listener, right now. Mm -hmm. What are you scared of? What are you excited about? And how can you turn that fear into enthusiasm to be able to take on, take on the risks and overcome it? Half of fear is false evidence appearing real. <laughs> and you think about it enough and you, you're scared. You wake up in the middle of the night, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And the answer is you're going to do something. Can, I like do you, that. Do you think that customers can smell fear on a salesperson? Can they know, like, this guy oh, is yeah. not ready for prime time? Oh, yeah. If the if the salesperson is not looking confident, then absolutely you can Without smell fear. Doubt. If you're oh, fumbling man. or you're making some lame excuse or even if you're something stupid like late. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's all kinds of telltale signs that a salesperson gives that they're either not ready or, or they're scared to ask for the sale. Right. Uh, you know, that's... Let's face it, not all salespeople have chutzpah. Many of them have uh, fear of retail. <laughs>